Yesterday I read a quote from the bass player from Metallica, of all people, uh, that I believe sums up the current vibe of our world. Have a listen to what he said. There are so many people choosing violence over division right now. I feel everyone is so tightly wound like they're just gunning for a fight. It's so true, isn't it? Uh, our media feeds are filled with images of war, both on a minor and major scale. Political division, uh, disunity, anger, and a lack of willingness to understand others, let alone forgive them. Everyone is so tightly wound, like they're gunning for a fight. And today's verse from Proverbs speaks to this. Proverbs 10 verse 12 says this, Hatred stirs up conflict, but love covers over all wrongs. Proverbs tells us that the root of all this type of disunity and anger is actually hatred, the opposite of love. Uh, let's visualize this verse for a moment, right? Hatred stirs up conflict, love covers over all wrongs. Uh, let's visualize it. Think of a hateful person standing over a simmering pot of differing viewpoints and ideals. They crank up the heat on the stove and they reach for their spoon and they, they start stirring, turning that simmer into a full-blown boil of anger and hatred. Now, think of the loving person from that verse. Seeing a wound caused by maybe the boiling pot of disunity uh, and disharmony. And they reach for a bandage and, as the proverb says, they cover it over bringing healing and restoration. The answer to anger, hatred, discord, outrage is love. And this verse causes us to picture the healing and forgiving nature of love. Think about the ultimate example of Jesus' love, covering over our sins, providing atonement, covering for our sins. And this is not only what saves us, but an example for us to follow as well. Uh, in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 8, Jesus' very close friend borrows from today's proverb to tell us the following. Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sins. Think of Peter's experience, right? The one who just wrote that verse. He denied knowing Jesus betraying his trust and breaking their friendship. Yet, Jesus forgave. Jesus restored him. Jesus' love covered over Peter's sins. Peter knows how amazing this feels personally to be forgiven and restored, and he encourages other Christians to do the same. Knowing the difference it will make in their lives and the world around them. Now, let me get this clear. When I talk about covering over wrongs, and as Proverbs does, I don't mean covering up sin. Uh, the verse certainly doesn't mean covering up sin or abuse or evil or hiding it away or pretending it didn't happen or saving face. Uh, that's not what the verse is talking about. Uh, the, it also doesn't mean allowing people to get away with the legal consequences of their sin and their sinful actions. We need to get that straight. It does, however, and this is clear, mean forgiveness. Refusing to get even. Giving up your right to get back. And showing love in the place of anger and hatred. And that's a big work. That we need the power of God, the example of Jesus, and the empowering of the Holy Spirit to enable us to do. Hatred stirs up conflict but love covers over all wrongs. Today, uh, look for an opportunity to bring healing love into a situation. Maybe it's forgiveness in a personal relationship. Uh, maybe it's making an effort to understand an opposing viewpoint, as horrible as you think that viewpoint may be. Maybe it's helping two other people uh, to see eye to eye and reconcile. Today, Use the love of Christ to bandage the wounds of society, to cover them and to bring healing. Go in his peace and his power.